Hello everybody, I'm back from my holidays in intermittently sunny Devon and thanks to Billy and Jason who've kept the show going whilst we're away. Here comes a lovely boat, she's really sweet, she's called Watermouse, she's 40 feet long, she's a reverse layout cruiser. She was built in 1990 by Janel Cruisers and fitted out by the same. She was last blacked in August 2021, the engine was serviced this year in February and there is a whole service from, survey from July 21 available for viewing in the office. She handles really nicely actually. Decent sized welder. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there. 13 kilo and a 6 kilo. There's solar power on the roof there. 100 watts. Really lovely windows. It's such a light boat with these windows actually. I'd say half of the cabin sides are windows. Enormous cruiser stern deck. That measures just short of 8 feet. 4 inches short of 8 feet. So it's a lovely space for outside. rail all the way around the back to either sit on or stop you falling in there's the view from the helm and here's a lovely touch actually they're like the communion rails in church that you kneel at that just folds over and creates a safe surround all the way down in we go to the saloon the floor in here is is oak uh, with the vinyl and oak, oak wood effect vinyl in the bathroom there's a Comfy couch there with storage underneath and a little Ottoman type seat next to that. This lifts up just to expose the storage underneath. Those boards just come up, come away. There's a inverter under there. It's a Sterling Pro Combi Q inverter charger, 1500 watts. Escape ladder there in case anyone goes in. The stove is a solid fuel stove. It's a Hamlet. And there's a television, it's a 24 inch bush, 230 volts. And into the galley, so it's a lovely little sitting area. Into the galley, which is uh, 5 foot 6 long, the saloon was 8 feet long. There's a fridge, it's a carbon three way mini fridge, stainless steel sink, plenty of storage underneath. There we go. The drawer there for cutlery. I absolutely love this boat. I could see myself on this a few years ago. It's a Morco instant gas water heater. That was serviced in February this year, 23. It's a four burner gas hob of a grill. That's a Statesman Legacy. Plenty of storage on the other side. Shelves under here. And on we go. It's the bathroom next. The loo is a Thetford Porter Potty Excellence. A little shower area in the corner there with a curtain. And there's a countersunk basin there. The tiled splashbacks. The bathroom is uh, 4 feet 8 inches long. Head height on the boat I've not mentioned actually, 6 foot 2. And then we go to the bedroom, which is 7 feet 6 inches long. Shelves at the foot of the bed. Storage underneath, plenty of. The bed measures six foot two by four feet wide. You could modify the bench arrangement in the saloon actually and get some sort of sofa bed in there, but currently you'd have to do a bit of work to put other people up. A little shelf there on the, under the gunnels, a cup of tea or gin and tonic, whatever you like in the morning when you wake up. Wardrobe here with shelves above it. And out onto the well deck. This measures three foot three. The gas bottles are in there. The water tank on board is integral. It's estimated at 500 litres. Glazed front doors. Nice little sitting area while someone's driving you through the countryside. So back through we go. There are two domestic batteries on board. 115 amp hours each. One starter. They were all new in 2021. Most, I think all but two of the lights are LED. There is a landline hookup for 230 volts as well as the inverter and there's also a galvanic isolator on board. I've mentioned the hull survey from a couple of years ago. She's got all the necessary navigation equipment to uh, turn the key and go and she starts on the button every time actually. I know I'll re saying that because when we'll do a viewing it won't but she does every time. And the base plate, it might be worth mentioning, has been overplated so uh, she's solid as a rock. The engine's in here. It's an air-cooled Lister two-cylinder. There we go. 
Got a new starter motor in 2022. The gearbox is a hydraulic LH150 that was replaced in 2017. There we go. Really love this little boat. So that's Watermouse. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure on the spec, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.